Patrick Landers asks, and this is actually an interesting, a good question um, that I don't think we've ever talked about um, on here. We have, obviously. Do you see viewership number change a lot with bad races? Um, well, it depends on, like, what you mean by bad. If, for example, uh, one of the a, a great a video that did really well for us was when Joseph and Jesse ran over each other at Tri-County back in <laughs> 2020 or whatever it was. Like, I feel like that launched us to a new level. And to, oh, you know and I mean? here, yeah. like, mm-hmm. even here. So it just, you know, it was one of the worst nights ever. It was as far as awful. How we felt. Like, I thought we were done as a team, as a, as a <laughs> it's over. family slash friend unit. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized pretty quickly, I'd say by the middle of the next week that, okay, this was a good thing. You yeah. I, I mean? think Jonathan even ta- had to like be talked to me and Joseph. He's like, fellas, it was a good thing that you did what you did. Yeah. Stupid. But good. <laughs> You're idiots. <laughs> but it's a good uh, day. The, the, yeah, if we don't run well, if it's a, I would say it's the mediocre nights that get, you know, the viewership is down. If you run well, it does well. If you have a bad night, people want to know why or, you know, like, what the hell did you do wrong type of thing. Or if you wreck, people want to, like, it, hit, hitting the wall at Eldora wasn't necessarily yeah. bad for views, you know. And it's, it's funny how the video of us surveying the damage gets more views than the actual wreck itself. Right. The one thing I will say that is a problem for us, or not, I don't know if it's a problem. It's just something that's different. Now we race so much more on live streaming than we used to. People see it and they already know what happened. Like no, very few people are watching our videos without knowing exactly what happened. I haven't already seen it, whether it was watching the live stream or, you know, the streaming companies, Flow and Dirt Vision. I lost everybody again. These uh, streaming companies, Flow and Dirt Vision, are getting everything turned around and on YouTube the next day. So that is definitely something that we have had to adapt He's to. He's trying to keep it going while getting us back on the line. I did. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to turn it up and see if I can. I, I, I don't know. Hopefully they could hear that. Could they hear me? Jesse yes, they, they, they would have been able to hear you. All right, so in case you didn't, what I'm saying there is it's just something we've had to adapt to, this whole everybody knowing what we're doing as we're doing it. We didn't have that in 2019 and 2020 when we first started doing the YouTube thing. Like I feel like the same amount of people are watching us. It's just by the time I get the video out on Monday or Tuesday or something like you know this week, Wednesday, they already know what happened. Yeah, and oh, and it's old news. It's too. old news, yeah. and they there's no way. There's, yeah, I was gonna say I think that also applies here is, is is the the timeliness of the videos. Like right now, the all tech video from Saturday coming out on Wednesday. Um, you know, there's been one again. Most people know how that went, yeah. right? Um, whether they've seen it on our Facebook post or watched it live on Flow or they saw the highlights floating around, you know, and all that stuff. Um, but the other thing is you've had now, you know, we've had three or four race nights since then too, right. right. That of other stuff going on and, and all tech seems like two mu- two, two weeks ago, you know, yeah. not, you it's know, not old days. news. It's very old news Yeah, at exactly. this point. So I don't, I, that's something I don't, I mean, I don't know what the answer is to that. Um, we, you just got to deal with it. Like, you're not going to stop that from happening. It's great that people are tuning in and watching this stuff live. It's great that. You know, if you can't afford to watch it live, you can watch the replay, the highlights the next morning. You know, that's a yeah. good thing. It just, you know, it's it's just part of it. And we just have had to adapt. And, um, you know, but the podcast, I think, is part of that of, you know, OK, everyone knew what had happened with Joseph Saturday morning, uh, Friday night at Alta. Everybody knew Joseph ran well. They saw it on the stream. They saw it on the the highlights on YouTube or Dirt on Dirt, Flow, wherever. But I'm not just, I just can't get that video out yet. You know, it's, it takes me five or six hours to edit one of these race night videos. And it's just, in, it's gotten to the point where I can't enjoy the racing trip and turn videos around the next day. So what's an answer to that? Well, we'll have our podcast. We can sit down and talk about it on the podcast. And that video is a whole lot easier. Although me and Joshua were still up till daylight <laughs> Saturday morning getting yeah. that video Joseph talking about racing with RTJ that we put out on the podcast channel. Me and jo- that took us till five o'clock in the morning, but it was a lot less work than had I uh, it, it, tried to turn around the vlog on the main right. channel. And so that, it's I think one, that's kind of a, adapting to, to that situation. Yeah. Well, I think that's 
you got to learn to like in any industry and in any uh, business within an industry, you got to learn to adapt with to change because, like you said, since we started the vlog, vlog in 2019, uh, of course it's changed some because we raced in bigger races. But you know, back then very, we were on live stream very rarely, right? Yeah. And even, yeah, you know, even the bigger races weren't. Um, you know, we had to learn to adapt to that, and I think so do just like tracks have to learn to adapt to the streaming, you know, what it's done to the, the business models within dirt track racing. Some are having a easier time and, you know, adapting more willingly because they see that, that change, whether we like it or not, that's, it's happening. Um, some are fighting it and maybe struggling a little bit for it. Um, but yeah, I think that's a big part of any business is learning to adapt and change with as things evolve. Right. And, uh, industries change. So, yeah, I will say the other thing is I don't know longevity wise, I think we want to be interactive and have a following um, and make videos of some kind on YouTube and Patreon and, and, and whatever, but I don't know how long we can keep up the having a camera with us uh, every race we go to. You know what I mean? Um, or, or having us all there yeah, all the time. Yeah, it just, um, man, that that's tough. Like, if you think about it, like, I haven't been to a racetrack and not had a camera in my hand and making a video since 2019. You know, five years now. Joseph hasn't run a race without people watching him and critiquing his every, you know, every decision. Uh, you haven't worked on a tire or helped Joseph yeah. make a decision. On, I, I I have literally never ran a race almost in my life without being and, videoed. And that, I mean, I, we're thankful for it. Don't get me wrong. We wouldn't be where we are without the people watching and, and commenting and buying the merch. And, and that's, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, I don't know how... Like we've done it five years now. I don't. Well, if we do it another five, I don't see well, it going much further than that. Yeah, it's you know? just looking ahead and and what do we do in, in our future? You know, like mm -hmm. looking way ahead. I mean, yeah. you know. So, so I could see the podcast being something we transition into. I'm not saying anytime soon. Like, there's no plan at all to to stop making the vlogs. Um, that we're going to keep doing that. We're, we're still going to race. We got a lot and, of story left that. to tell. You know what I mean? Right. I feel like a lot of highs. You know, and lows left to left to endure that we want to share with everyone as long as they'll follow along and have us. But at at some point, that's going to come. You know, that's going to slow down and and um, you know, probably come to an end. And and this it's like, what's next? And I think the podcast is maybe you know building something for the future after making vlogs every time we're racing. Hopefully, um, yeah. Hopefully, not, again, we're not quitting anytime soon. That's not what I'm. Do you know how many people? Thought we were, I guess, for the five years of fun and the picture real video. They were about we were to out. quit. They thought I don't, I, at the dome, I had like twenty people ask me or say something like, "Y'all, that's not. We're not stopping. We're still making videos." <laughs> oh, good. I thought y'all were quitting. I'm like, no, we're just celebrating that we've done it for five years and somehow still survived. You know. <laughs>